G'day guys, it's Rob from TAT. Just got a 2005 Mazda 3 in today that's got an engine light on and the AT light on. So we're just going to show you how we found the problem and how we repaired it. Stay with us. So as you can see here, the first thing we did was check for codes and we had the P0715 turbine speed sensor circuit fault kept coming back and we drove it enough to be able to determine that it only happened on cold start. So as you can see here, once we warmed up, our TSS signal was actually working normally and matching engine RPM. Um, but what I'll show you is that uh, when we got it cold the next day, the TSS signal was not active, so we had no signal at all um, matching our RPM there. So no better test to do than to grab the oscilloscope and go straight to the sensor to two wire variable reluctance sensor. So we're going to test both sides of the sensor as you can see and we don't have a signal on either side of the sensor. But here as you can see as we were talking about before once the vehicle got warm our sensor came back to life. So we know we had a failing sensor so we got the new sensor in and then we checked the uh, scan data once we had the vehicle cold again we didn't really need to do the scope again we just needed to see the TSS signal happening uh, when that we have a cold engine so and this just shows us here on the scan tool um, that we had a cold engine so we get back out of it and we go to our live data We find or did deselect all and we find our RPM and our TSS. Put them in graph view and we start the car cold. And as you can see, confirmation of the fix is there. We have our TSS signal working, matching RPM. So that is the problem solved. So before we go guys, I just wanted to show you some information available if you wanted to know more about these two wire variable reluctance sensors. Uh, obviously, I'm currently on the Pico Auto site. You don't need a Pico to access this site. Anyone can access the information here and the guided tests. So there's a little bit of info here about the two types of two wire sensors that you'd come across so that you can diagnose them all correctly. Um, with one being a non-floating type that has voltage to one side of the sensor and the signal on the other or a floating type that has a signal on both wires that are mirrored to each other. So we just recently saw a, an interesting uh, repair solution come on board from one of the technical team members, Gary O'Rean, and uh, I'll show you what that is. So it was a BA Falcon with the cam position sensor codes coming up and um, as you can see the exhaust cam had a fault in the wiring and whoever repaired it previously had actually wired them the wrong way around switched the wires over and because as we just said that there's a mirrored type so the signal on each side of the wire and they're mirrored um, the PCM was receiving the mirrored signal up here of the exhaust cam instead of the actual signal where it should be like this below so it was throwing our cam position sensors out so that's a really good example and this is just another example of all the helpful information on the tat site so there you go guys hopefully that helps you out next time if you get a mazda 3 in with the same code or even if you need to diagnose a typical vr floating ground type sensor like this one so if you're not part of tat make sure you sign up jump over to the tat website and log in to see all the other repair solutions just like this one. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.